fortune awaits in blood and plunder. Set sail in the golden age of piracy and claim the riches of the Caribbean at beastsofwar.com. Greek mythology rages to life in mythic battles pantheon. Become a god and command heroes and monsters in a battle for Olympus at beastsofwar.com. Hey guys, this is Dallas from Privateer Press and today we're still hanging out in the Beast of War painting studio and I want to do a little more painting today. And what I have in store is painting black and sort of the idea of how to paint black. Um, when you're painting black, sort of like white, you want to leave pure white for the very, very minimal. It's the, it's the highlight color. With painting black, you actually want the majority of the surface to be black. And I usually go about 60, 70% pure black. You, you want it mostly black. It's kind of the opposite of painting white. Um, if you let it get too over highlighted with your colors, it starts to look gray or blue or whatever you're using. Um, so you want it primarily black. Um, there's a couple different recipes for black um, and uh, cool black or warm black. Um, cold black and exile blue kind of gives you this um, bluish cool black. But if you mix a little hammerfall khaki in, you start getting this uh, neutral warm black. And I'm going to I'm going to paint with that today um, just because I find the color very interesting and very appealing. So uh, with that being said, let's paint some black on our seether here. To get started, we're going to base coat the model with some Thamar black. Now, I've got a black primer on my model here. But Thamar black has a much richer property. And it's a, it's a little bit darker than most primers. So I want that to be the main color. So some Thamar black. And we're just going to base coat just a nice smooth even base coat over the area we're going to paint. And I'm just going to paint the shoulder pad for demonstration purposes. As you can see, the Thamar black is much darker than the primer. And as usual, nice thin, even coats. Great coverage. And we got a nice dark black on that armor. Now we're going to start with a basic highlight. And for this, I'll be adding a little bit of cold black to our Thamar black. And this will be quite subtle. But it just helps define how much black there is. By having a little contrast, it makes it makes other areas look more black. So I'm going to blend this on. You could layer this if you so chose. No wrong way. And I'm just going to choose up here for some highlight. Remember my goal is to leave about 60% of the model black. And I'm going to flip it over and do this panel. That's just barely noticeable, but it's there. Now we're going to add a bit of Hammerfall Khaki 
to that color. This should be more noticeable. And we're just going to paint that up here. A little on that side, that's all right. We can put a shadow back on there. And I'm going to add a little more Hammerfall khaki. I'm going to really minimize how far down this color goes. Color should not come down very far. And if you feel like you want a little more black back into it, you can come reclaim everything and tidy it up. Like so. Now we can add some men with white highlight. This gives us a nice gray tone for our highlights. Black's not about shading as much as just multiple highlights. As I said, this could be done for, this could be done as a layer effect or blend or wet blending or two brush blending, however you want to achieve this. And I'm just going to go right up here to the top. Not a lot of highlight. Flip it over to the bottom. And of course, these vents catch a bit of white.
rivets. And finally, more metal of my highlight. And this will just be for glinting edges. Just a little bit of this. Just in the most extreme areas. Now to frame that up, just so it's more visible, take some pig iron, we're just going to paint that around there to frame it. Jack's got a lot of spiky bits. It's uh, kind of hard to hold it for the camera, but you get the idea. Okay, I'm just going to put a quick wash of Crick's Bane base over top of my metal to dull it down. I'm going to black around that bolt. Maybe put a little bit of Crick's Bane in there. Okay. And maybe one final highlight here on these vents. Just a touch. Just to make them pop out. There we go. And that's it. And there you have it. Some black armor for your war jack. Or any material at all. Um, even cloth or um, skin even. Depending on what you want to do. It's all about, like I said, it's all about leaving most of the surface area black. And just highlighting. You don't really need a shadow. Just paint it black. Just highlight it. My name is Dallas from Private Press. And thanks for watching. Remember to check out our links. And as always, happy painting. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now and be sure to check out beastofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.